Hello everyone. In last lecture, we have studied about the physical and chemical properties of milk. Today is the second lecture of milk and today we are going to discuss regarding the milk formation in milk animals, how milk is formed, how milk is how there is like let down of milk and uh, what is the composition of milk what is the uh, composition of uh, milk of different species regarding all this to, we are going to study in this lecture okay now see first let's start with lactation what is lactation lactation is if you talk about the lactation then lactation is lacteal Secretion of milk by granular secretory tissue of milk animals and their collection in the various duct system terminating in the laid down when subjected to a specific stimuli. Means, first there will be secretion of the milk by the granular secretory tissue and that will be collected in the various duct. Okay. And after that, when there is a sub stimulation by the hormones, Okay. there will be let down of the milk generally lactation comprises of three stages lactogenesis galactopoiesis milk ejection okay we'll see all this one by one first let, let us discuss something about the milk in this um, lactation see first of all there is a term galactopoiesis or lactopoiesis what do you mean by galactopoiesis or lactopoiesis means as the, the lactation has started or there is an initiation of the lactation, then the maintenance of lactation after the initiation for a certain period of time that is known as galactopoiesis. Generally in milk animals, after calving, cow reaches her peak yield in about six to eight months, eight, eight weeks. Okay. And that remains for a short period. Then that declines at the rate of about 10% per month. Okay. Various factors are responsible for the maintenance of lactation period, like growth hormones, group of hormones are there, like uh, prolactin, STH, ACTH, TSH, oxytocin. Eh? This affects in maintaining the lactation. Eh? And, and then that depends upon the what is the ratio of, uh, of concentration in the blood of uh, this uh, uh, group of hormones. Okay. Hormones responsible for maintaining as well as the Initiation of the lactation is nearly same. Okay. However, some uh, anterior pituitary hormones um, other than prolactin or ACTH have been found that they cause increase in the milk production in lactating cows. Okay. STH or TSH, STH, somatotrophin or thiotrophin injection also increases the milk uh, production. After that, if you inject prolactin, that has shown a very little effect on increasing the milk production. If a large dosage, uh, dosage of ACTH, they can inhibit the lactation. Maintenance of milk secretion is also dependent upon the milking or removal of milk from the memory gland. If the animal, see, if animal is not mixed, milked, or it is they are milked incompletely, then uh, the lactation period gradually decreases. Other, uh, after also milk production also depends upon the feed supply or the health status of the milk animals. So these were the basic things that we need to know about the lactations or lactation period. Okay, now let us discuss some terminology. Lactate means to secrete or to produce milk. What is lactation? Just we have explained the lactations. Milk secretion. Okay, it refers to the uh, synthesis of milk by epithelial cells. And after the synthesis, the milk is passed from the cytoplasm of cell into the <clears throat> alveolar lumen. See, the rate of milk secretion remains constant for uh, 12, uh, first 12 hours, eh? then previous milking. Suppose we, you have done the milking process. After that, for 12 hours, the secretion of milk remains constant and gradually it declines. Okay. What is lactogenesis? This is the initiation of milk secretion. This is the one part of uh, milk, this uh, lactation. Okay. After that, you talk about the galactophore. It is a milk duct and galactophorus means carrying or producing milk. Okay. Galactophonic, that this, this lactogenic then that stimulates or increase the secretion of milk. Lactation number, you all know that a, a cow can 
in her entire lifetime can cause as 15 to 16 times depending upon the breed or health conditions okay usually its average number is 10 times and uh, as the as as the as time the uh, number of calving means how many times the cow will cause and uh, that will after that they will, uh, they will start the the lactation period will start it means uh, suppose 10 times there is cal average time uh, calving is a uh, 10 times then the number of lactation period will be 10 times lacteal this is this word is pertaining to the milk only or uh, also it is used for the lymphatic capillaries of a small intestine okay after that lactogenesis lactogenesis means what if, if this is a process uh, by which uh, memory alveolar cells th that acquires the ability to secrete milk in this first stage includes the enzymatic activity it starts in the memory gland and followed by the differentiation of the different cellular organelles that is present there after that second stage is that is associated with the all the components that are present in the milk okay lactogenic symbols i just we have discussed before like about lactogenic this it stimulates in secretion of milk mammogenesis this is growth and the development of memory gland after that milk what is milk the milk is whole lacteal secretion obtained by complete milking of one or more healthy lactic influence milking is what extraction of milk from the cow order by hand or machine that is simple no need to explain there now there is milk is excellent now let us understand this see when what happens during milky milk secretion takes place inside alveolar okay and thus <clears throat> milk is deposited in the alveolar duct uh, or gland or teeth cisternus and uh, that's get filled with the milk and when the milk is uh, filled into the alveolar duct or uh, gland <clears throat> this does not mean that the uh, the flow uh, mil the milk will flow very easily unless the extra pressure is given to the each and every alveoli when we stimulate the teats or udder that results in the neuroendocrine reflex secretion of oxytocin from where the, from the posterior posterior pituitary gland uh, when this oxytocin reaches the mild epithelial cells that cause them to contract and thereby the removal of milk from the memory gland takes place now, this phenomenon that is associated with the contraction of myopithelial cells is generally referred to as milk letdown. Generally, this effect ends in 10 to 15 minutes due to the dissociation of oxytoxins. Okay, see, until the, there was letdown of the milk, the pressure with memory gland was very low. That was the 0 to 8 mm Hg. But as the in this the letdown, there is an increase of pressure to 30 to 50 mm Hg at the beginning when there is a uh, contraction in the myoepithelial cells okay now next <coughs> involution it means shrinking or return of an organ to its normal size after the enlargement suppose cow giving birth to calf eh? then uh, uh, second you can talk about the uh, when there is a lactation and the, when uh, after that there is a dry period then then the, the, during the decreasion the size of the memory gland is increased but while there's drops it's a is shrinked if there is a shrinkage of the memory gland means it has or you can tell about the shrinkage of the alveolar cells also means up in dry period the, it returns to its original shape that is involution okay growth hormone like somatotropin this is secreted by the pituitary gland okay after that para and uh, this is a parathroid this hormone regulates the blood level of calcium and phosphorus after that, oxytoxins, you also know that it is secreted from the posterior pituitary gland and it is responsible for the milk let down. Okay, now this is milk biosynthesis. Milk biosynthesis takes place where you also know that epithelial cells that are lining the alveoli. Okay, it is a continuous process, uh, milk secretion. It reaches maximum just after the milking and lowest prior to milking. Okay, now it, it is seen that four to 500 ml of blood must pass through these cells so for production of the one ml of milk okay in next next lecture we are going to discuss about the different techniques that is used in the milk industry but before that we well, let's see some points about the milking generally milking is practiced twice a day eh? and the ideal art of milking should be performed within five to eight minutes when you talk about the methods of milking then there is fisting knuckling method or stripping and machine milking is also done if, uh, fisting is the best method for hand milking though most of the uh, although the cow 
milkmen they follow knuckling method in knuckling method what happens uh, milkers tend they bend their thumb against the teeth and drag the milk out see this practice should be avoided because it can cause injury to the teeth okay after that when we talk about the stripping this method is practiced where the size of, length of the teeth is very small and it is practiced at the end of the milking to to for um, complete milking means uh, no milk should be left in the teats after that we talk about the uh, composition of milk of different mammals suppose cow buffalo goat sheep camel then you can see that highest lactose is found in the buffalo followed by the cow and the lowest lactose is found in camel followed by the goat when you talk about the water then highest water is found in the camel followed by goat and the lowest water is found in the sheep followed by buffalo regarding the fat the highest fat is found in the sheep followed by buffalo and the lowest fat is found in the cow followed by goat highest protein of course it's sheep followed by buffalo and lowest it's in camel followed by goat when you talk about the snf highest snf is found in the sheep followed by buffalo lowest is found in camel followed by goat highest s is found in the sheep followed by goat and the lowest is found in camel followed by goat if you talk about the total solid then it's highest in sheep followed by buffalo now if you talk about the composition of milk of some breeds like jersey fasian or cross breeds then the total solid or fat or total protein or total snf or total lactose and these are found highest in the case of jersey okay so guys in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the different techniques that are used in the milk industry you go through this uh, video if you have any doubt please comment us or you can comment in the uh, youtube sex, uh, channel or you just can whatsapp us regarding your doubts we are here to solve you out. Thank you.